Okay, so today we're going to be thinking about how to create some of the outlines with our loop technique. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be using our loop technique to outline some of our darkest tones. So we're going to think about our shape and we're just going to create a looped tone, a looped line around. So again, I can go back in. If it's a smaller area, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep my loops nice and small and tight. That way it allows me control. Now with my darker tones as well, my loops are quite close together. But for my lighter tones, as you will see in a minute, I'm going to leave bigger spaces between them. So I'm just following, to begin with, the lines on my photocopy. So I'm going to move on to my lighter tone here. So my lighter tone, I'm not going to apply as much pressure with my pencil. And I'm just going to make the loops slightly bigger. Move it down a little bit so you can see. Okay, so I'm going to go back into my dark tones now. So I've added my outline. Now I'm going to use my loop technique and I'm going to start thinking about how I build up and I'm going to follow my shapes. I'm going to follow my lines so remember, we've talked about before, how it's almost like a stitch that we can create in our piece of work. And we're going to follow our lines and we are going to fill in the spaces that we can see. So again, going back, filling in gaps, using the loop technique and if I need to, I want to make a darker tone, just like we did when we were practicing today, we can start adding in and going over the top of our tones and building in that depth. So I'm using my photocopy underneath today to guide me and just to give me an idea of how dark I might need to make my tone so I can fill in my spaces. So again I know that this tone is kind of a medium tone, down here is going to be darker. So when I'm working down here, again, I'm going to follow my lines. This time I might spend a little bit more time going over my tone. So at the moment it's kind of similar to this one. Might go over it a little bit more. Again, keeping it in a loop, going round as I go. So I'm going to make my darker tones. When it comes to detail in the mouth today, my loops need to be nice and small because I'm working in a smaller, tighter, finer area. So I'm thinking as I work all about the sizes. I'm making really conscious choices to think about my materials, to think about how I'm using them, to look carefully and be aware of the shapes that I'm going to follow. So today is practice. We're going to think about how we use this technique to apply our tone. So thinking carefully, Taking your time today, start to use your pen to make your loops. Build in your tone, go over, and remember the less space you have, the darker your tone will be. The more white space you leave, the lighter your tone will be.